guys welcome back to the best mental health channel online my name is Al. i've missed this part but there's something it bores me with the moment i start recording there's someone outside a neighbor who is passing talking on phone a baby crying a baby pulling strings <coughs> you keep riding a bike like this anyway let's get into the video so to, on today's video i'll just be doing a series or something i would title the things i'm still learning i just feel like i have learned a lot in school in in life in a lot of things about a lot of topics and today i just wrote down six things that i am still learning i have learned but i i just feel like I am still learning so anytime I check down I look down just now I'm checking my notes so let's start okay the first thing that I am still learning is the fact that the best days of my life are yet to come <laughs> so the other day I was watching the TMI podcast KE by Murugimini and uh, Lydia Kim and to be honest it hit me really hard Yes, your yeah, mommy was like, she feels like she has learned, she has had one of the best days of her life, for example, waving. And Lydia came in, like, there are those days which are yet to come. I feel like I've had one of the best moments, yes, but I've not had one of the best days, yes. <laughs> Money is good, guys. If there's something, hey, hey. There's a meme, actually, it's not a meme, a TikTok video I was watching, and... I think I'll place it here as I talk. You guys, my guys, let's just pray for this shit. Let's pray for it. And I've had one of the best days. Uh, for example, my graduation was one of my best days because it was an achievement. Me finishing school, one step, looking forward to a master's. But to be honest, the things I'm, one of the things that I'm still learning is the best days of my life. Are the be the best moments of these days of my life are, are yet to come. I've had the best moments, but days are yet to come. The second thing, on the things, the the second thing that I'm still learning is: do not fear taking calculated risks. This one I've been taught by business. I started. Uh, business immediately I finished my fourth year uh, so last year immediately after school I was like what can I do this to as I wait my graduation because I can't look for a job I don't have papers and I want a good job and all that so I decided like I will start a business and with whatever I had even it's too embarrassing to mention how much that business started with but just know it's less than 2,000 shillings and today I can say we are somewhere. I started selling dirhams and lessons and to be honest, it's something I'm still learning. Do not fear taking cal calculated risks. Also, the thing I've learned with me, I have a weakness. So let's say, for example, I have to buy clothes or I'm thinking to, of doing something small like a shop or uh, like, for example, opening a juice parlor. So if I have 30k, I'll put all the 30,000 and then come search in Minnesota and all, all that that is not a calculated risk it's more of a, a risk that I'm investing everything and if I lose it it's okay so I have the, um, those people who fly who just think about something and I sink in but I don't start calculating like hey what will this happen when it so I learn the lesson while in it so one of the things I'm still learning is do not fear taking calculated risks the third thing that I'm still learning you guys, let me just read as I wrote it. I don't want to paraphrase. It, I, it is good to go for what you want or need, but always ask yourself, what does God want? I wrote this point in line with um, purpose. I think with our generation, if there's something that to know, be real, kill us, know your purpose, find your purpose, get to know what you like, what you can do best. But I think the, the one of the aspects we fail is okay, there's someone hitting upstairs. Oh my. One of the things we fail to ask ourselves is what does God what does Atikot? Okay. What does God want? 
it's all about you what do i want what do i need what what is necessary for me you 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 but you don't think about what does god want and i think for the uh this year my prayer has only one of the main things i've been praying for is that may god just align the desires of my heart with his purpose may they just this i don't know how to describe it but this zingiane yes so that is one of the things i'm still learning whenever i plan may i always put god first and may i always say that if i want this but what does god want the fourth thing this is a life lesson i think for the people who have interacted with me this year most of them have had me telling them this point and this is something i'm still learning that uh you are always one choice away from a different kind of life so the choice you make will affect your life and you will live a different life from what the other choice would be so for example Mm, I want to do my masters and uh there's this opportunity now you've been presented you've got an opportunity to do your masters or you've been you have been presented with an opportunity of going to a corporate job a corporate job is 8 to 5 and in that corporate job you won't have time for even part time studies so i go for the job that's a different kind of life i'm going to live or i go for the masters it's a different kind of life because maybe in my masters i will not be working with people in matters work yes it will be projects another example is i don't want to use it because it will be very personal you have a choice of dating this person or not if you date them if you date them it's a different kind of life if you don't it's a different kind of life today you are presented with an opportunity to go to either australia or netherlands you choose australia different kind of life you choose netherlands a different kind of life so always just make sure the choice you are making is a good choice because every choice you make and you are just one decision away from a different kind of life let's move to point number 5 the fifth thing i am learning um hey i am very much on time uh recently i was having a conversation with a few friends of mine i know they watch this vlog yay and we were in kilifi kilifi from mombasa mtwapa is there is part of mtwapa that is county majorly in Chopa is Kilifi county yes Kilifi in Chopa and we were just having this conversation of what what where do you see yourself in the next 5 years so most of them were like ah you know you're still young you see you are like 3 years younger than us 4 2 and I'm like but we are still very much at him and like by 27 or by 29 by 30 I should have peace I should be living this kind of life and when we look at where we are personally when I look at where I am and the life I'm looking forward to I just pray I hope and pray that God we go back to the point to align my goals with his my purpose or my wants and needs with what he also wants with me or for me to, or me to do for him so i am very much on time i don't think i am late i don't want pressure i'm looking at my friends on social media and they are doing really well <laughs> people are traveling people are moving on hey people are living siju in current view that driving much cars i don't know siju who is who has gone for masters one person like i am just very much on time jobless there that is i am just very much on time and when all the, the time will come for me to achieve at that time or at that stage in life i'll just be at the right time guys i am content but i'm not comfortable underline those words content but not comfortable but one thing i, I know i don't want to say no for sure because i later do a thing or the things i know for sure and one of them will be I am content but not comfortable. Yeah. Sixth point that I wrote, I remember but I don't want to read. Or I should just read. Okay. Make sure and make sure you have your own life before becoming someone's wife. That is something I'm still learning. 
actually if i don't think i'm still learning this one should be the things i know for sure like i should just have my life a life of my own because i have uh before i become someone's wife this one this part if you're a lady and you're watching this video please listen ladies we don't have time ladies we don't have all the time in the world that our counterparts have as a lady there is this expectation of you you're done with campus now is marriage after marriage is kids between you have been between you have to juggle with school you have to juggle with work be a stay at home mom at some point do all this and one thing i just want is have my own life before you become someone's wife it's not like i'm pro or being overprotective of myself or something i just want independence and stability and that that, that doesn't mean if i meet someone who doesn't have um uh, uh or they are not in a certain position where society expects them to be i will not be but one thing i'm still learning is i should have a life of my own before i become someone's wife those are the few points i came up with i could write a lot because i'm still learning a lot and very soon i'll introduce a wednesday video where i'll just be uploading the things i'm th still learning i have one theme talk about it but not so soon i think from next year january because this channel is still feeding on milk you hear the you are still a child you are being fed so i'm just trying to feed it and see where we'll go or we'll reach by december but it, it's a full-time thing that i want to do is this youtube from january and that doesn't mean i won't put the effort right now i'll still put the effort but let's just grow gradually baby steps and we'll be okay thank you for watching my videos thank you for this far uh, i know it might be too long but just thank you for sticking around listening to me please uh just in the comment section um write something on the things that you're still learning you have learned and you're still learning because i just want to hear from you guys like subscribe comment and turn on the notification bell button so that anytime i upload a video you'll always be among the first people to be notified do i have anything else to say see you in my next one bye